Hello, my little clowns, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Nikki. I love bright, fun, colorful, clownish type makeup, hence why y'all are named my little clowns. Um, today, I created this look inspired by my absolute love and adoration for cows. I'm a cow lover, and I love strawberry lemonade. I love lemonade in all of its sorts. During the fair, they have like the freshly squeezed lemonade and that is like my heroin. That's my drug. I would have it every single second of every single day for the rest of my life if I could. Um, I also opened up a friend mail package from the lovely Michelle. There's things rolling. Um, and it's this little package of this Bridgerton Pat McGrath, which I'm so excited I'm going to be using that in my next video. But if you want to see how I did this look, if you want to see the shit show that is this channel, P.S. I swear, I'm sorry. But my little heart would appreciate it if you could like, comment, subscribe. I said hate comment before and some of y'all took that literally. So, you know, just like dislike. I don't know. Interact with this somehow. It helps me in all the ways possible. So without further ado, Let's get into it. Okay, hi. Hello. How are you? I don't even know how to answer that question for myself. You know, it is what it is. Um, today I'm going to be doing a look inspired by my absolute two, two favorite things in the world. Cows and lemonade. Specifically strawberry lemonade. So I do have a huge cup of lemonade right here um so i was thinking like a pink and yellow ombre cut crease cut it cow print maybe some pink eyeliner also michelle i did get i did get it i did get it it's here the scissors are ready to go um i'm gonna open that afterwards i'm gonna shart i'm gonna shart oh my god oh my god okay i'm gonna start with this shade right here called sweet spot from the uh-huh honey color pop palette and i'm gonna start by putting that in my crease and i'm gonna be packing it on because i want all the color payoff even though i think that they're like close to the same shade i'm gonna go in with this shade right here called west coast from the barbie color pop palette and again putting that in the crease And then I think I'm still going to go in with this palette and use this shade right here called Best Coast. And again, I'm just going to be packing this on until I get the color payoff I want. And then I will blend it into each other so it, it looks better than this mess. <laughs> now that I have it blended, I'm taking a little bit of that pink still. And I'm packing that on in here so I can get the right color that I want because it sort of started to turn brown. That's on me. <laughs> but then I'm going to take some Meister water, cut the crease, put some concealer on, and then we will get into this. Okay, you know what? Screw it. We are going to be opening this. Because I think I know some of the things that are in it. Well, I know. Most okay, of I don't know who the hell packaged this. If it was you, Michelle, if it was like. But my God, this was a son of a bitch to get okay, open. She sent me a Pat McGrath Lambs. What is this? Divine Skin, the Essence. Ooh. Um, and a Pat McGrath Bridgerton palette. That's, I'm so excited to play for it. Play for it. Play with. And then, if I remember correctly, these are eyeliners. Yep. Some blue, green, and yellow. That's why I really wanted to open this because I can use this today, which I'm excited for. Thank you, Michelle. I love you. Okay, I'm, I'm cleaning this up right now, but I just wanted to say a couple things about Michelle. Michelle is an absolute mother effing sweetheart like she's just freaking amazing and so kind and just wonderful so this is me trying to influence you to go check out her channel because she's amazing and i adore her 
she does nail polishes, tutorials, she talks about like expensive luxury items because she's a freaking top tier bitch. And I don't mean that in a mean way. I mean that like she's, she knows her self worth. She knows she's worth expensive things. Like she is a top tier woman. Next, I'm going to be going into the Blend Bunny Ben. I cannot speak today to the Blend Bunny Blends palette. I'm going to be taking this shade right here called Cream and Sugar. Why is there crap on it? What happened to this? I must have gotten a lot of the shades scratched. But I'm going to be putting that white shade right here. And again, just packing it on until I get the color payoff that I want. And I want this to be like hella bright and white. I think this would be better with like a white eye base or something like that, but we work with what we have. I have this Melt Ultra Matte Gel Liner. I was gonna just use Black Shadow, but I think I'm gonna use this. I got this in that mystery box that wasn't that long ago. Um, I'm gonna use this brush. This isn't even a eye brush. This is a paintbrush that I got from a craft store. And then I was like, hey, I ever decided to do like, you know? I wasn't using it for painting, so. I don't just use it for this. I'm gonna be making the cow spots now. And the thing is with like cow spots is that it's like, there's no rhyme or reason, you know? Like, you just gotta like put it down and hope for the best. And I'm kind of just letting the brush in my hand do whatever the hell it wants because I don't want it to be like pristine if that makes any sort of sense. Hello, hi, I'm back. We're gonna do highlighter, blush, under eye, that good stuff. Um, I think I'm gonna use the Hello Kitty ColourPop Island Shine. It looks like that. I don't know. I don't think I have like a blush color that like will go with my eyeshadow. You know what I kind of want to do? Let me see if I have, I think I might add a little bit of yellow to this blush. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go into the ColourPop one and use the lightest shade in it. Um, that one maybe, I don't know. What I realized, though, is that I need to stop uh, deleting people out of my contacts when they, like, stop talking to me. Because then they'll message me again later down the road, and I don't know who in the hell it is. We're going to put a little bit of yellow. Because I'm feeling clowny. Okay, for a highlight, I think I'm either going to do the ColourPop Citrus Sprays, which is literally falling apart. Or the Maybelline Master Holographic. Or, knowing me, I'm probably just going to sit here and I'm going to do both. Ooh, this is the Citrus Sprays, by the way. I also, like, got a lot of room opened on my phone, which is where I film. So now I think I can make longer videos, which I'm so happy and excited for. I like to glow. I like to be seen from space. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit of that one before I go in and put more highlight on into under the brow. Highlight that a little. I like to do it under the whole brow actually because again, I want to be seen from space. A little bit of the maybe Maybelline Master Holographic, which is so funny that both of my highlighters are just falling apart. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit of under eye and then we'll go from there. Um, I'm gonna use the yellow 
eyeliner I got from Michelle. This is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner. And I'm going to put that in... And honestly, I think I'm just gonna, like, leave. I'm not gonna touch the under eye. Because I did a lot of under eye last time, so we're just gonna put a little mascara on. Also, holy freaking moly. This is, like, the best my face has ever looked. I think. I'm not gonna put anything else on, because I really, I like this. A lot. Oh my god. I'm so proud of myself. Like, this was, like, so out of my comfort zone. So, like... <sighs> but, I wanted to open this up and look at it real quick before we do the ending to my video. Because this is my first ever Pat McGrath. Uh, Michelle sent this to me because she said that she had two. And just... I was like, hey, do you want this? And I was like, Fuck yeah. But this is what it looks like. I'm so excited to play with this. I think this is going to be so much fun. Thank you, one, to Michelle for this lovely gift. I love it again. <laughs> and thank you for uh, making it this far in the video, for watching, uh, for supporting me, I guess. Um, I'm going to leave you with one thing. I saw Jan start doing this at the end of her thing, but I wanted to sort of do it. Uh, but don't be racist, don't be transphobic, don't be homophobic, don't be a shitty person, don't use your religion or whatever you believe in to justify hate and to spread bullshit. Um, it is not that difficult to be nice, it is not that difficult to be kind, and it is not that difficult to ignore things that you don't enjoy or don't like or don't understand. Um, so... Have a good week. Have a good weekend. Uh, and don't be a shitty person.